conversation, man. Feel free to subscribe. But first, I want to shout out, man, I, I fuck with y'all heavy. A uh, handful of y'all messaged me saying, uh, Fight Hype sent out a video, uh, sleep dissing me. Listen, you, you know, I, I appreciate y'all reaching out to me. The one thing I, I rarely ever do, I'm not saying I'm perfect at it, you know, maybe 10% of the time is worry about what other people do. You know, let Fight Hype get their money. Do you understand what I'm saying? The great thing about it is, you know, I have 15,000 subs. Fight Hype has a zillion subs, right? It gets the question out. And uh, I'm not opposed to him getting credit for it. I, I'm, I'm really not. Uh, I have a job to do. And my job is to ask questions that Pablo on his couch is, is wondering. Michael on his couch is wondering. And Tyrone, he's asking us, excuse me, and Teresa and Maria. You guys understand what I'm saying? So uh, I my job is to ask the questions. And the 15,000 subs that fuck with me, I have a I have a... Uh, a good idea of what they're thinking, you know, based off of their comments, based off our personal interaction. So, uh, I want to say thank you guys. You know, some of you say he, uh, fight height might've been sleep dissing me. I don't care. You know, I, I personally don't care. Uh, the job on, um, the job on, uh, YouTube is to draw eyes to your videos. And if you could think of a clever way, and leave it, leave a cliffhanger like that. If I was smart enough, I should have said idiotic, right? <laughs> so I, I, I don't worry about. It. I, I genuinely don't worry about it. And but, but, but what I will say is special. Y'all motherfucker are, are real boxing fans. You understand what I'm saying? For you to reach out to me, watch a video, critique it, and 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 then get back to me, is a uh, is a beautiful thing. So for that, I I, I say thank you. Uh, shit. I hope this video gets a million views, 200,000 views. You understand what I'm saying? Because it is a valid question. And here's the key word in that, in that question. I said after 2019, that, that was overlooked. So if you think, I'm gonna put my pants on. okay, I'll put your pants on. Can I finish this video real quick? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So with that being said, I'm ahead of what they're ever asking. 2019 got swept under the rug. So that goes to show you that I'm not asking knee-jerk questions. I've done my research. I know uh, that PBC has to do their welterweight tournament. It, it, I'm not dumb enough. I said after 2019. You understand what I'm saying? His, the, the picture was trending. Right? I saw it on my timeline maybe five times. Uh, so I, I thought it was a relevant question, you know, and I coincidentally, I saw Terrence Crawford last night, didn't talk to him. I was the closest I was to him was like two feet away. We took a picture together with, with some other fighters and stuff like that, but I didn't get a chance to speak with him. Uh, I, I should have introduced myself to him and told him who I was just so the next time I come, he gets more and more comfortable. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to respectfully do my job at all times. I'm never going to. Because, you know, from a distance, when two people are arguing, no one knows who's the fool, right? And the one thing I don't want to be, I've worked too hard, you know, and, and I work too hard overall in life to be labeled a fool. You might disagree with me, right? But nine times out of ten, I'm not going to lose my character and, and go off the coof and, you understand what I'm saying? Ten percent of the time, I might do it, but, you know, I'm not perfect. But, uh, but shout out to Fight Hype, man. It, it, this question, what I ultimately want. Right. Is for you guys to get the information you guys desire. And Fight Hype is a bigger uh, channel than me. They've worked harder than me to, you know, to some degree and uh, been on YouTube longer than me. Let them get their money. But more importantly, guess what? You guys heard the question. So, again, I say thank you. You guys sent me messages. Uh, I read a handful of comments on the fight hype video and I say, thank you. People that don't like me, it's cool. I, I, I don't work for them anyway, but I tell you what they're going to do. They're going to go to my channel and comment on it, which is a beautiful thing. You know, I, I've already been called nigga in my life. I've already been called short. I've already been called dark skin. I've been called poor. I've been called, I've overcome all of that. And, uh, uh, so I, I appreciate you guys. I fuck with y'all heavy. So thank you. Um, 
I, I felt it deserved the response because I got five. I never get, I never get in one day. I never get five comments. I never get five emails or five DMs on a video. That, that never happens to me. So I thought it was deserving of a response out of respect for you guys, um, putting your energy in responding to me and actually protecting me, which is a beautiful thing. I I appreciate it. You know, so anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man, feel free to subscribe button and uh, we have more to come. And uh, I will be at Keith Thurman's fight May 19th because I'm just I it's not something I'm dying to go to. But since I can't go to Deontay Wilder, it's in the budget already. I have a thousand dollars to go to a fight. So uh, I'm going to uh, what's up, Lincoln? What would you say? I'm going to put them on. OK. And let me finish this video, though. OK. And uh, so what I want to do is, uh, so I have allocated $1,000 to go to uh, uh, Ortiz Wilder. But since uh, I can't go, we have something in Chinese culture. You guys know my, my two kids are mixed. We have something. I don't know why, but maybe it's information for you guys. They have something called the red egg. And the red egg is, is, is a ceremonial thing. It's, it's the child's first party, first celebration. I think they they get a pig and you understand. Maybe I have some Chinese subscribers. They can elaborate more on it. But uh, it, it's basically symbolic like every other culture. You know, American culture has Sweet 16. Uh, you know, Jewish have their culture. Uh, Latinos have, let's just say Mexicans. I think Mexicans have quinceanera. So it's something like that. But it, it, it's as an infant. So anyways, man. Um so I'm going to roll over that thousand dollars that I allocated towards Wild Ortiz. Where did he go? Thank you. To uh, um, Deontay Wilder. I mean, excuse me, to Keith Thurman versus TBA. And hopefully he has a strong undercard. And uh, so that's it, man. I appreciate you guys. It's no, it held in LA today. How crazy is that? You know, stranger thing. <laughs> the end time is coming. Oh, man. Your grandma about to email all y'all. You got your uh, safety kit ready? The end is... <laughs> anyway, man, I'm gone, man. Have a great Monday, y'all. Peace.